Who's a meatball? I'm a meatball. I'm a meatball. I'm a meatball. I'm a meatball. <laughs> you should watch first and third because of your commitment to excellence. Drunken debauchery. Athletic achievement. PBR. Competition. You Women. Ready? Money. Let's go. Shocker. Welcome to First to Third. This week, we're talking about the Circuit Cup. Woo, back. Uh, two weeks ago, the best of the best met in Las Vegas uh, for the top tournament of the year. Uh, and, man, it was something else. Uh, <laughs> Meatballs took home the cup. Uh, outstanding Not performance right. by those guys. Uh, really uh, top-notch win. Uh, they really cruised the whole way. Uh, what would you guys think? Did you have a good time? You got to get some. I didn't okay got to get some. You had an okay, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Ad Rock got hurt, so uh, he had a great time until he got hurt, right? Yeah, I had a great time. Um, actually, I had a great time the whole week. I just was upset I couldn't play, but yeah. before, after, you part of me, drink. You and me both. Yeah. Um, I had a good time. I was working, but I couldn't play. <laughs> but uh, I had a great time. Thanks, Admin. You guys did a great job, man. I I, I felt like that tournament was really well organized. Uh, everything seemed uh, well thought out. Thanks. You guys did a great job with the fields. Uh, it looks like you had to adapt to, to some unexpected challenges with yeah. the holes in the fields, and, and that worked out really well. Yeah, props to uh, the staff for uh, getting out there at, uh, oh, God, like 5. I think I was up at 4.30 on Sunday, and this was after sleeping a total of 11 hours and three nights. Um, we partied a lot in Vegas, people. Um, but, yeah, we were out there at 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., I guess, by the time the bulldozer showed up. And uh uh, props to uh, Shane and to Chris Holland of uh, yeah. New York and D.C. to out there with shovels filling holes because we got out there and we realized some of the holes were way too big. The grass had been cut, but Vegas, for some reason, had rain that week. But, yeah, long story short, uh, fields were money. Uh, grass was a little long, but it actually kind of bounced out a couple of the games. Nothing that you know was detrimental to the game, though. I still saw some insane pitchers out there. <laughs> Yeah, it made it interesting. I don't know about you guys, Ad Rock, but we yeah. definitely had a little trouble adjusting in the morning. Um, yeah, I know my timing was way off. Like, well, that ball was just stopping where it shouldn't have. Been. There was uh, the grass. It was short, but I felt like it was fluffy. Yeah, in spots because it was weird grass. And then um, I know in our first game of the day, one of the uh, one of the holes was uh, kind of right in my path. So I, I slipped on it one time, but we got we got out the door pretty good after. And it was wet in the morning, which is always hard for grip. Yeah. But uh, it dried out and everything, uh, you know, we got the gears, uh, shook the rust off, and we got it going after that. But, yeah, first game was a little tough. Yeah, but, uh, again, thanks to our sponsor, CDS Legal, uh, CDSlegal.com. Thanks to Hard Rock uh, Cafe. Um, the after party was great. Um, that was great. That was we we were Great. shocked that you know we roll in there and they gave us the entire floor and it was an exclusive after party on the strip. Uh, New York Shower Hammers didn't join us. You guys were uh, dude. I'm sorry, man. We were we did not realize how far away the Palms was from everything. <laughs> um, and no by worries. the time we got home, it was like there were a couple of people on the team who didn't even go out. Like, <laughs> and people were just destroyed. Uh, I know Tom just went right to bed. He didn't even <laughs> say anything. Like he just got undressed, took a shower, and just was unconscious. Wow. Like, well, but he played. He played uh, Founders Cup the day before. Yeah, it was uh, good. I mean, we had a good crowd. We had the entire floor to ourselves, and then um, we had Wisconsin Super Dudes. Those guys are awesome. They were out there in full yeah. force as well. Uh, the which was the which Arizona team? Whiskey Richard, our Whiskey. Most, most social team on the national tour. Showed up in snakeskin? Or what, <laughs> yeah. what were they wearing? It was animal print. Animal print, thank you. I talked to one of their, their people there. They love the theme night. Oh, it was phenomenal. That's that's why they won the uh, social team of the year. Those guys fucking rock, man. <laughs> um, let's get into the meatballs here. The the tournament winners. Champs. Anyone, anyone surprised about them? Uh, I'm I, surprised I, at I, how they just rolled everybody. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll echo what Oakley just said. Yeah. When, well, actually, we take a step back. 
the top coming out of just freaking pool play, fully loaded number four seed going into the event, top seed allowed yeah. two runs in a very tough pool. Um, yeah. Scored thirty three. Like they had a phenomenal pool. Super yeah. dudes, a team that had never played with the circuit ball, had never played with circuit rules, qualified for the cup as a league champion out of Musa, out of Wisconsin. Number two seed, they were a 19 seed because of the league champion rules. Uh, they allowed three runs, I mean, and they did not bunt. If you saw them, and we'll show clips later in the day and on, on YouTube, you can see them. They were yeah. a kick first, kick only team, really. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, I think, and then after that, it was meatballs and panic. I think that was the first shocker. But what Oakley just said, the fact that they won every game by five or more runs. I mean, let's look at those elimination scores. So the first round, they get JKI. That that's Both thirteen to level. eight was the score there, and I yeah. mean you could tell that game that the meatballs just opened it up and and then sat their starters and whatever. So yeah, yeah. a huge high scoring game there. Then they go into what in the in the Sweet Sixteen they face IB five um, yeah, and then the the uh, Final Four Super Dudes five nothing yeah, and then they cleaned our clock seven to one in the finals. Uh, I mean. I don't think they had an anxious moment the whole tournament. You know, the other no. thing is these guys played the whole day, the day before Founders Cup, and you look at the teams that also did that, like Panic Attack, uh, some of the IB guys, Flying mm. V. Those guys could barely stand yeah. the next day, and the meatballs are just rolling people the next yeah. day. Why are these guys so good? Why are they so consistent? That's what it I want I'll tell you what, man. I think it's just the level of coaching and organization and preparation and, and that, that they put into it. I, I think yeah. they're just unparalleled it's, professionalism. Yeah. And it's not like in pool play they were not challenged. I mean, surrender the booty uh, out of Jacksonville, a solid team, you know, got spanked 13 to 1. Meatballs then played Foster Kids, another solid team uh, with yeah. an. Awesome uh, circuit logo shirt for the tournament. Uh, phenomenal guys. Uh, six to two situation. Uh, we were talking about it before the show. You know, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. You don't know what team you're going to get with the situation. In this case, Meatballs wins seven nothing. Yeah, man, that's what I said the, yeah. on the pre pre Vegas show. You, I mean, they're either a contender or the nobody. Yeah, and uh, I mean, situation. They had a solid pool play. I mean, they were they killed JKI seven zero. They, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the meatballs just couldn't stop them. Yeah, yeah, I agree, man. It was it was uh, quite the clinic. Um, Oakley, why don't you tell me about uh, about the grand salami in your game? Oh man, well, what, hey, let's wait, you know better yet. Let's take a look at the tape. <laughs> let's go. Um, make sure you guys got your sound right so we don't blow everyone's everyone's ears off. <laughs> so uh, here's the clip. You can see it from 2:22 in uh, in David uh, Solar Pixel on YouTube's uh, video. Yeah. We'll post the link. We'll roll it yeah. right now too. Now, and that, um, was that first pitch or is just edited to show first pitch? No, this is edited to show first pitch. So uh, Carl's telling me he throws it. He throws an inside pitch, way inside. He thinks it's going to be a ball, and man, Worley just ripped it. And uh -huh. as you can see, it's like not even that high of a pitch, but it was just this knuckling line drive that just sliced. To the right of our of Tom, our left fielder, got past him, um, and man, Worley's just too fast, and yeah. he just scored that. He was that not four the, banger was he, just a backbreaker. He, he was not the guy I thought would kick the home run in that game or the grand slam in that game. Uh, yeah, I, well, this you know, guy I kicked home runs off of, off of teams I played on. He's, uh, he's also <laughs> kicked quite a few field goals in Division One football, boys. Let's not forget. Typical meatballs fashion, get the professional sports player on their squad. Where did he play again? I think he played Florida International, if I'm not mistaken. Florida Atlantic. FAU. Florida Atlantic. Okay. Not too shabby. I don't know. The kid's nasty. Um, it was an awesome kick. I wish it had been against somebody else. <laughs> Grass, really, you know, that was badass, and uh, yeah, he's going to have that moment. Yeah, if uh, you missed the game, uh, we'll post the link below. And actually, episode 29, we're just going to run – the full footage, if you haven't caught it on the uh, forum, uh, we'll show you every all the footage we've got from the fields. Uh, thanks again, big time, to uh, Kickball Monster uh, uh, out in California. So uh, you guys were talking about Whiskey Richard being the socialites of the year. <laughs> why, don't you, uh, why don't you tell me about their big win there, Admin? You want to talk about somebody who brought their A game to the cup? Uh, yeah. I think I said it in the pre-Vegas episode. 
you know, these guys are good. Just, you know. They're good. They they had a bye to start the day that might have helped them. Uh, they played shower hammers. They lost three to one. But I mean, Oakley, you saw them. The, that that game was closer than the score said. That that game basically came down to one play, where a ball got through Maggie's hands, and somehow by magic or whatever, Jay Hard was there and made a fingertip grab to to save the catch. Uh, that would have held two runs, that, that would have scored two runs. Um, it was like such a clutch play. But that ball drops, they score two more runs. You know, it's a whole different ball game. So they played us close. They didn't let us see what we wanted on offense. They were able to, to impose their will uh, with their offense. So uh, yeah. those guys can play. The, uh, yeah. And I was, I guess when they showed up against, they must have been dead tired after that one because they showed up the next game against Fully Loaded, got stomped 7 nothing. But then, you know, Whiskey Richard playing Army Darkness, both uh, from out west. All of a sudden, they've got a team. And then next thing you know, Whiskey Richard rolls Mo Tussin to get into the uh, Sweet 16. So, yeah, they uh, they they brought the heat. Yeah, they just uh, play, man. They, they got people at every position, and they got they got kickers. So. Well, they're just here to prove that uh, Zach isn't the only great thing out of Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> at least in my Although opinion. Although Zach is pretty great. I Maybe we I don't do want to talk about it. I heard the grossest story. I've I don't ever want to talk about it. I don't throw up on the camera. I told I told Ad Rock when I was yeah. living in Vegas. I was like, just give the man the hype cup. It's over. Yeah. It's I think disgusting. Got, I mean, it's been three years in the making. Zach finally earned it. I don't, Is it I, official? I, it's are official. We, are we announcing it right now on the show? That yeah, we're announcing it on the show. Zach, so you're in the hype cup, buddy. When it's found, it's yours. <laughs> so, so that's your goal. You got to find it to have it. <laughs> so, if I'm to understand correctly what happened, I don't know if either of you guys are there, but... Oh, oh I Zach, think we should keep the show at PG-13. <laughs> I you know what happened. For our sensitive viewers at home, cover your ears if you're squeamish, because this is fucking disgusting. Here, he took a straw and snorted some girl's vomit off yeah. the bottom to his nose. <laughs> <laughs> is that not the most horrifying thing you've ever heard? Who fucking does that? Press on. <laughs> Zach. Zach. Zach, are you on, man? Sniffs, puke, all for kickball. Zach got some. That's what he got. Yeah. So what do you guys think of uh, the Super Dudes? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. I never got to see him play. Uh, from everything I heard, and I, we, I you know, did not play, but walked around quite a bit, they were lights out kickers. Their pitcher was phenomenal. Um, we'll get to their catcher in a second. That guy's a freaking legend now. But their pitcher was throwing lights out. But apparently, when they finally um, ran into the meatballs, was it meatballs? Yeah. Yeah. They ran into the meatballs in the final four. I guess, and I didn't watch the game, but either their starting pitcher was dead tired and couldn't pitch, and they put somebody else out there. Uh, but whatever the case, I guess they ran out of steam. But again, they never played with our ball, never played with our rules, you know. They're from Wisconsin, so they uh, they kicked ass. They did. I was I'm proud of them. I'm proud to see a team as a league champion do so well. Um, you know, we had one league champion and one wild card this year. Uh, they just they did great. It was good to, good to see somebody new, and hopefully we'll see them back in South Florida, if not there, uh, a couple of other tournaments that we'll be uh, announcing in the next couple of weeks. So it'll be good times. I mean, we got to play them. Um, we were semi ready because uh, we 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 didn't even have them on the radar coming into our pool. And uh, first game of the day, they played so fucking, and it was on the field next to us. And we're seeing a, a whole bunch of commotion. They end up beating so fucking. I think they shut them out. It was like one or two nothing. So we were kind of like, whoa, th- these dudes are legit. So uh, we came into that game, you know, pretty fired up. We went up on them two nothing. And then, I mean, maybe you want to put an asterisk on this win because I couldn't play for half the game. But uh, I, I got hurt in the game. They ended up uh, coming back, beating us 3-2. to two, But they they were athletic the whole time. They, they came out firing. Like I said before the show, and Admin alluded to it earlier, but these guys yeah. don't bunt, man. They just kick liners. They come right at you. Yeah. And, uh, their first basin was tall. Vacuum cleaner over there first, which is always hard to find when you're first starting, but they already got it. And they just rolled, man. They their, came in confident. Their catcher was phenomenal. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've heard a lot of chatter about him too. He was good. All the core positions were solid. Yeah, every I think Meatballs pointed it out. Panic pointed it out. IB, you know, we went and watched him uh, a little bit. Like everybody was talking about this catcher. He was lights out. Uh, I mean, that's the thing coming from a uh, you know like a, a league that that's where there's not a lot of bunting. That's the position that you got to train the most. I mean, you got third baseman everywhere. Um, yeah. You know, and it, that's a similar skill set to baseball. It's and. You know, you got pitchers, got guys that can throw gas, first baseman, outfielders, you know, athletes. But like playing catcher is sort of a specific to kickball and specific to a certain type of kickball. And that's where a lot of the, the teams from kickway leagues get tripped up. And if you know, if they were able to bring that to the table. Yeah, so um, I, I think what you're saying, Oakley, is Tropics kickball has a chance. Yes. For the Circuit Cup twenty twenty. I, I don't know. I thought they came on here and said they had like dozens of left handed ace catchers. But apparently, not. <laughs> come on, Tropics kickball, get back. Yeah, so I, there, bro? I mean, I think that uh, going again with Super Dudes, two biggest surprises for me: fully loaded, being number one coming out of pool play, uh, and then Super Dudes. Uh, everybody was just dumbfounded when they started seeing the scores come out of Pool C about Super Dudes beating Sofa, Super Dudes uh, beating the crap out of I'd hit it, and also Deja Vu, um, and lock it up. You know. It'd be yeah, impressive. Yeah, it's a hell of a run. Good for them. So speaking of Pool C, what do you think was the pool of death? I mean, two uh, teams, two teams from Pool D were in the final four. So yeah. I mean, you know, in full review, Pool D that was Self so. King Good out of California, Super Dudes League Champion out of Wisconsin. I'd hit it out of El Paso, Texas. Deja Vu out of DC. Lock it up out of New York. I that was Pool C, right? And then yeah. Pool D, fully loaded, Florida, Army Final of Darkness. Four. Yeah, fully loaded, Final Four, four. Army of Darkness, um, New York Shower Hammers, Finals. Four. Mo Tussin, you know, with 10 players, they were struggling with players. And then Whiskey Richard as well out of Arizona. So, me personally, I saw a lot of games. Pool D was the one I thought had the toughest. C as well, but I don't know, Adrock? Yeah, I... I guess I'll give the nod to D, too. Uh, I mean, C, probably close second, but you can't really argue. One team in the finals, and they beat the other team in their pool to get to the finals. And then Army of Darkness knocking off the situation. I mean, not Army of Darkness. Whiskey Richard knocking Whiskey. off the situation. Whiskey Richard. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Pool D myself. I agree with that one. Yeah, and we talked about it last time. Uh, let's talk about our predictions we made. If we can remember, I I made lock it up shower hammers meatballs and IB were my predictions, and I was two for four. Not too shabby. I blame myself for not being three for four. <laughs> what did I, I say? Did anyone remember? Did I even make you said this? I think, I think you had your own team get into the finals. I did. Yeah, yes. you did. but it's I good. always say that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think I had panic up there. I, I didn't think panic would trip. I, w I did hesitate only because they were going to play in the Waka's Founders Cup on Saturday, which uh, ended up going to OSC out of Washington, D.C. Um, good job. That's OSC. Nice one. OSC. Um, they've been in the Washington Post. Um, they've been there in the news on a local news channel later this week. We'll post a link if you're interested. But um, I guess, I don't know. You guys talked to some of the players who played in both events. Were, yeah. they, were they tired? Were they dead tired? Did it phase them at all? I mean, obviously, uh, you didn't really phase the meatballs. They well, worked out for them. I mentioned it earlier when we first started, but the meatballs seem to be bulletproof. I don't know how they do it, but everyone else I talked to that played Saturday was dead and, for the most part, said they weren't going to do both tournaments the same weekend next year. They well, just go circuit cup. We'll, we'll clarify that we're not going to do it on the same weekend next year. Yeah. But, uh, um, but back-to-back -back tournaments, I pretty much heard across the board, bad idea. Yeah, I mean, especially talked, when you're competitive. We talked yeah. to uh, Flying V, who did both tournaments with a lean roster. They were wasted by the time we got to them. Um, same thing with Panic Attack. I mean, they they battled like as hard as they could, um, but I mean, they just didn't. Have, I just don't think they had the gas in them. I, I think everyone was just hurting, you know. Uh, you know, they're fighters, but there's only so much you can do. And I, I think their roster was a little thinner than they would have liked. So, uh, yeah. you know, by the time we got to them in, was it the Elite Eight? 
um, you know, they were hurt. So, yeah, I know there was a lot of debate with our team about doing both, and mostly me and Sajak were adamant about it being impossible. <laughs> playing playing those core positions, you can't walk the next day, man. And I don't know how these guys actually thought they could do it, unless you're the meatballs, obviously. But I don't know how you you can't be productive two days in a row at a high level. It's just I don't think it's possible unless you have a huge roster. Yeah, I don't I don't think it bit IB in the butt, but uh, IB's Charger, um, outfielder, first baseman, um, they all played with OSC on Saturday. Uh, won themselves ten thousand dollars again. Congrats! And then, come Sunday, IB struggled at times at the plate, but you know they. But IB always struggles at times with play. Unless you know, maybe I'll just host the Circuit Cup Championship in DC next year, and we'll win. <laughs> hey, that's bullshit. I got something to say. <laughs> um, but guys, it's been a hell of a year. Uh, the boards have been um, awesome. on fire recently. Yeah. Uh, there's been a lot of good threads. We've got a lot of new members. Um, we thank you again if this is their first time watching. Um, as Oakley, Oakley always says, follow us on Twitter uh, yep. at first two third. We'll post the link. First follow two. us on Facebook. Number two. The number two. Just search first to third on Facebook. You'll find us. Yeah. Like um, us. That's yeah. where we post the show. You can watch every episode. It'll come right in your Facebook feed. Uh, and like. I was saying earlier, the national tour has come to an end. I guess this is our off season. Uh, teams on the boards are already talking about summer, calling it quits. Yeah, some, some a lot are, of talk. New teams, people quitting. Yeah, some yeah, people always say that. I think they it's say it every the, the year. Same people that are serious will be back. The people that are gabblers will dabble. Yeah, we're and obviously we're going to do everything as a company to uh, attract as many, you know, non-circuit teams. Uh, this year, the national tour, which is basically our series of events, had seven events, and then we had our eighth event being the cup. We're going to do everything we can to, if we can, add more than eight, uh, or you know, more than add ten leagues. events. Add leagues in other cities. <laughs> oh, uh, we'll see uh, about <laughs> events in areas in the country where we've got a lot of folks asking. Um, you know, we'll see. We're going to announce the schedule as soon as we can. We're not going to put anything out in writing. Uh, in official postings until it's confirmed. We don't want to jeopardize anybody's travel plans and then find out an event isn't going to happen. So we always say the first Monday of uh, the new year is when you're going to find out. Uh, we already said um, in Vegas the cup next year is going to be in New Orleans. Uh, we'll give you the full details. and it oh, will. Yeah. I didn't even know it was definite. Uh, it's Well, I'll just, for the record, um, likely pretty definite. But oh, that's again, awesome. I've never been. We won't put a date. Dude. We won't You're gonna love it. Date. I'm gonna take you to Snake and Jake's. You'll never want to leave. Maybe I won't. But uh, well, you wouldn't even know when to leave because there's no windows. So like, <laughs> it's like eleven o'clock in the morning, and you've been there for seven hours, and you walk outside. You're like, ah. So uh, to all the West Coast uh, kickballers that watch, we're gonna do it on a Sunday. Uh, we'll find a weekend, um, likely Veterans Day. We're a very we listen to our customers a lot in the survey survey we took. Um, everybody wants New Orleans, and everybody wants it on a Sunday. So, um, you know, don't worry, you'll be able to get out there. But, yeah, New Orleans next year. We'll talk about it in a future episode. Uh, it'll be good. Hey, um, get an event St. Louis. I want to gum for the, the big ballers. Big ballers. Let's see if they, if they win the World Series, then getting tickets to a Cardinals game will be fun next year just to go see the banner or something. Yeah. Uh, yep. the, the Nats aren't going to win, so we're not going to another Nats game. Um, in other news, admin. Yeah. The stage is yours here. I think you, you owe something here. Uh, yes. So I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I lost a bet. Unfortunately, I do not own Arizona State uh, uniforms. So I'm going to cue the fight song, the mascot, and anything else I can find having to do with Arizona State. The bet was if Whiskey Richard made it to the Elite Eight, which I did not think would happen, <laughs> I would wear the Arizona State gear for the entire month. Uh, of podcasts so for the entire remaining weeks of October I'll be uh, including Arizona State uh, in our podcast uh, every chance I get so you might actually see him on this side or that side throughout the podcast so, good job Whiskey Richard good Love bet um, so guys I hope you had fun it's been a hell of a year 
It was a blast, man. Great. We had a great year. This has been my favorite year of kickball by far that we've had. Love yep. the tournaments, love the scene. I've been just psyched about how things are going. So, super fun, totally competitive, loving it. Adrock, uh, get healthy, dude. I'll be back, people. Angry. Angry. <laughs> I'll be back. Give me uh, a couple minutes. And again, uh, we'll post the, the episode with the, sh with the game. Uh, we're going to post other footage. Uh, we're going to have a couple surprises for you. Um, definitely stay on the boards during the offseason. Uh, it's always a slow time, but uh, the moment we can post that schedule, uh, start making your travel plans for next year. Yeah, we're, we're ready, man. We're, st we're standing by our uh, JetBlue <laughs> accounts, ready to start getting those tickets ASAP. Nice. I'll be on the flight, too, with you, probably. <laughs> All right, guys. I enjoyed it. Have a good night. Later, Evan. See you later. And... Hold on a sec. <laughs> no, I had rock. Since yeah. We're not, we're not recording yet. How's your hamstring? Well... It's it's beat, but I got a, I got a good story for you. Uh, so I go to the doctor to get my MRI, you know, earlier in the week, and uh, do so I'm getting the MRI. Any of you that's ever been in there, it's, uh, it's a terrifying experience. First of all, because I'm claustrophobic. Yeah. But uh, so I get my image. I go to my doctor. They're all this this nice 3D image now. So I got my MRI hip to knee. All in right 3D. What? All in 3D? All in 3D. Wow. Uh, he's rotating around the thigh. Uh, right smack dab in the middle as he's scrolling up is my dick in the middle of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's telling me about my hamstring. And here's, here's my ding just dangling right in the middle of the frame. And I'm just like trying to keep a straight face as he's telling me about, you know, my rehab and uh, what's going on. <laughs> yeah, let's not use that in the show.